we do have a question from a fan off of the Gmail. Shout outs. And this should be a fairly easy one, so we're not going to spend too much time on it because, again, this is the, you know, we're wrapping up things here on the episode. This person writes, hey, fellas, love the show, and I'm constantly enthralled in the conversations that you guys get into, yo. Appreciate it. Thank you, sir. My question <laughs> is, do you think Funimation dropped the ball by not releasing Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball GT in Dragon Box form like they did with Z? If so, why do you think they didn't follow through with that? I'm sure it had to be because they didn't think they would get the return on them, but I, for one, would have loved to have the whole series in Dragon Box form. Just wanted to get your thoughts on that and video releases in general, since they have milked DBZ to death. That's absolutely true. And they also they end their email with, love the show, guys, and love that you're on a consistent release schedule. Cheers. Shout outs. No, it is. Say what? He said, he, said, uh, he said GT. Is that the only thing that you got from that email? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Go ahead. Well, I want to hear I what I your answer is. I can't answer, I can't answer that, that part of the question, yeah? So, it's because GT has failed. <laughs> that is why they have no box. <laughs> that, is, that is why they have no box. Oh my god. Failed series. <laughs> yes, that's all I have to say. Kai? <laughs> <laughs> I don't <laughs> I don't I don't even know how to answer this. I had I had asked you about it when uh when we were discussing the email before. I'm not like you told me about, you know, the dragon box and I was just kind of like I don't I don't really recall running into that. Like I've never I've never seen that before uh-huh yeah so funny enough right similar to you i personally never actually ran into them either right right i i actually was put on to the dragon boxes like right around the time when i was heavily involved with like dragon ball insider when i was doing that and that's when i learned about it and i was like oh so these are like the best sets like this is the best format to ever watch dragon ball z and I was like, oh shit, like that's dope. How much are they? Well, the proof of the quality is in the price because if you try to buy them shits now, they're they're like worth hundreds each. And there's there's like a shit ton of sets. Like I don't I don't know if it's like nine like the the the, the orange bricks are, but right. if you eBay them right now, like each one is at a different fucking price, right? If you wanted to actually think, collect yeah. them shits like legit, <clears throat> which at some point, I would like to do that, but I'm actually low key holding out for them to just re release those dragon boxes in like Blu ray format or something, which I'm surprised they haven't even done that at this point. It's 2022. Like, what the fuck See, are they doing? That That's literally where I was about to take this conversation. It's mm -hmm. like, it's so old. It's been so long. Why, why would you want that over something that's going to be like remastered at this point? You know, right. like, there's, there's way better ways to get newer quality shit out there. And I still don't understand the appeal of putting out your best quality one time one time only at the very beginning and then never again like at, that that literally doesn't even get you a cash grab like it might make those items more expensive in the future but since it's so limited it doesn't really do anything right it's just something it's it's something for collectors people to get like, hype about and you know what that's all this for go ahead Brando. nah because i was i was also gonna add like to, if we're gonna be completely real, like how many boxes and or <laughs> bricks would GT even have? <laughs> These motherfuckers. This is why it's failed. Failed. Oh it is <laughs> <laughs> the series. Failed. <laughs> Don't listen. Listen. The only good brick out of that series would be Omega Shenron and fucking Super Saiyan 4 Goku. That is the only brick. Everything beforehand is shit. <laughs> Dude. I'm being, I'm being real right now. I really, real I really right do now. stand with the whole Shadow Dragons arc. That shit, that shit should be like the only real thing. Dragon Ball stuff. Yeah, like that, that was, that was fire. Yeah, absolutely. Look, man, I, I'm not, I, I'm not on the team shit on GT. Okay, I'm not. Please, please. 
I know you are for sure, hundred <laughs> percent. I'm, I'm definitely not. I, I'm, I'm team shit on GT's first like thirty episodes. Oh yeah, yo, <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Those were so bad, like those were really so bad. That's what, yo. In case Brandon, I don't know if you remember this. I, I'm pretty sure I might have told you this forever ago, but they cut. Like, do you remember? You remember? Okay, because we have all the DVDs at home, right? You remember how they released the lost episodes? Terrible. Okay, but check it out, right? In Japan, those were not lost episodes. <laughs> they started with all of those. And I, it, think, I think I remember this. And those, listen, those episodes are what was a part of the downfall of GT. Because Japan thought, hey, if we're going to continue this, why don't we bring it back to a more of a original Dragon Ball feel and make Goku a kid? And have him go on adventures looking for Dragon Balls with his granddaughter in trunks, you know? And after coming off of the heat that was the final fight with Boo, you can't follow up with that shit, you know what I'm saying? But they, that's where they went wrong. So by the time they brought it over to America in the early 2000s, they were like, if we're going to expect people to fuck with this, we can't have this shit start like this. That's when they literally started off with that blue dude. I forget his name already. And I'm not talking about Baby. Because he came after. Um, But that's why it kind of... It need, they needed to start with all the action and shit. You know, the fighting. And Goku going Super Saiyan. And Super Saiyan 3. And 4 eventually. You know what I'm saying? That was the difference. So... The, to answer this question, right... I absolutely think that Funimation did drop the ball on that because they should be they should have been fully aware that Dragon Ball Z especially or well not just Z but Dragon Ball as an entirety was was or yeah is their like biggest thing that they owned or they had the rights to redistribution and all that stuff right so the fact that they have re-released Dragon Ball Z in so many different formats, I feel like they should have just done a Dragon Box for everything. They should have just straight up had a Dragon Box for Dragon Ball Z and GT, made it one complete long fucking thing, include all the movies, but do it all. Have the biggest ultimate collector's edition. Which, funny enough, Kai, you brought up collector's edition. Do you guys remember the recent collector's editions that flopped? Okay. No. This dude. I'm not. I'm honestly. I'm not even surprised that you didn't because it flopped so hard. I don't even know about it. It flopped so hard that literally the second people got their hands on it, you never heard about it again because. They tried to they tried to make it a selling point, and they used terms like "oh, four by three. you know, like, like the way they worded all that shit is there was almost like they was trying to like almost mock the fans, like, oh yeah, you guys want this old looking shit? Yeah, we're gonna give it to you. But it wasn't about just keeping it in its original aspect ratio. It was about keeping it in the most highest quality preserved version. Which, funny enough, like all of the shit from like the T, like from television in Japan, those are the best versions for some reason, right? And even with the technology that exists today, where they kind of like enhance this shit to not only just bring it back to to keep its original integrity but to just make it look like like you know that it could go on a fucking huge ass tv like in high resolutions and shit but obviously while maintaining its aspect ratio they still managed to fuck it up somehow i don't remember exactly what it was but if you think about it we haven't seen a new set since you know the only things that they've been releasing are like the blu-rays of super so I think they dropped the ball on that shit and you know I'm sure that if they were to release Dragon Ball and GT Dragon Boxes I'm sure they would have sold just fine I feel like they would have made a profit from it because of what I said it's it's Dragon Ball Dragon Ball is 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 a cash cow it's not going anywhere 
they're in the shits and like they're gonna keep they're gonna profit no matter what and that's just how that shit goes so i appreciate this comment this question um and this is you know this is us uh remind you guys now if you guys want to hear us talk about any kind of comments concerns questions that you might have uh hit us up fullpowerpod at gmail.com that's fullpowerpod at gmail.com bro Oosh, what do you gotta say to the people fuck gt um you know oh that's that good shit